What's up, guys? Welcome to the House of Planet here. Um, I've got my headphones plugged in, so hopefully you guys can hear me a little bit better. Um, my microphone's been messing up on my phone a little bit lately. I wanted to show you guys how you can further reduce your plastic when it comes to uh, bathroom supplies. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but in fact, there's 80 billion plastic bottles produced every single year just for hair and shampoo conditioner. Um, uh, your, your conditioners and your shampoos, ah, oh, 80 billion plastic bottles a year? That's just crazy to me. Especially when our grandparents, you know, our great-grandparents, they didn't use plastic bottles of shampoo and conditioner. They used bars. Um, so I'm trying to help bring back that old state of mind. You know, um, we don't need these companies like Garnier Fructis to water down the supplies for us. So all these products I'm about to show you are all from Lush. Um, it's, a, it's an American company right here in America. I go through the one in Sarasota down here in Florida. But check it out, guys. For starters, this is my deodorant. Um, this sucker lasts me a lot longer than your normal plastic containers of deodorant. And it's the same dang thing. It just doesn't have plastic on it. And like, oh, boo-hoo. Like, you might have to just wipe that off the towel. Um... <laughs> or, or actually, you know, wash your hands after you do it. Me, I just do it right after the shower, you know, before I brush my teeth. So I'm already getting my hands wet anyway before I brush my teeth. It's not a big deal. Um, that's my deodorant. Here is my soap. It's called Honey, I Wash the Kids. Uh, this is also available through Lush. You guys can order all this stuff online. I would recommend that you try to find a company that's locally around you. That way, you're cutting down on the emissions as far as getting it mailed to you. Um, I used to use a company called Atik. A really awesome company. But then I realized that I thought my hair was so dang pretty that it justified sending bars of soap from New Zealand. Um, that's not sustainable whatsoever because then I'm contributing to, to the petroleum industry to get it here. And I'm contributing to... Um, noise pollution in the ocean you know so i'm also contributing to coral reef decline and ocean acidification increasing and climate change increasing all because i thought that kicking my plastic was a good idea so make sure you try to find the most local spot around you um this is my shampoo it's called uh, honey i wash my hair <laughs> i i had to go with those names just because i was such a huge fan of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. It was one of my favorite movies as a kid because I always wanted to be a scientist, you know, so I just thought that was amazing and fascinating. Um, but this, all you really do, guys, um, and I know you're going to look online and go, oh my goodness, $15 for that? Well, what's your Garnier Fructis cost? Five, six bucks for a bottle? When this is probably six of those. Like, I literally, when my hair is wet, I take one swipe, two swipe, three swipes, and my hair is completely covered with soap. Um, this thing lasts me for probably about five or six months, and I've got long hair. Granted, it's not the thickest hair in the world, but still, $15 for six months? I'm good. I can even afford that. Thanks for sending it to me for free, though. <laughs> um, and this is my conditioner bar. Um, this is called Sugar daddy -O. This is the uh, kind of conditioner bar that I use. Yeah, look at that. It's even got a hair on it. Proof that I use it. <laughs> um, but it's super, super awesome. This is no different than the conditioner in your bottle. It's just, it's just not, ha has a lot of water. Can't even talk right now. It doesn't have all that water in it. You know, so imagine this. It's almost like the shampoo guy and the conditioner guy got together and said, hey, I bet if we start watering down our products and putting them in silly little plastic bottles, these people will pay us five times more to dilute the product by 80%. And they were right. We did. We all forgot one thing that we have in common in our showers. Water. <laughs> That's right, kids. We all have water in our showers. So why should we be paying these companies to add the water in our soaps for us? Um, the bars are back, guys. I don't know if you know this, but, uh, black is the new green, or green is the new black, however you say that. 
whatever it is. It's cool. <laughs> Check it out, guys. I'll include a link um, in the web or in, in the little YouTube bio part, whatever that's called, too, and show you guys how you can order some. Thanks. Love you.